Hey everyone, Ariel Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. Look, a really nice white dialed sports watch. Just what I like. As a big fan of white dialed sports watches, I'm happy to review this limited edition. This is of 33 pieces, Dubois it feels, DFB 005-02. Interesting boutique Swiss watch brand. They claim to be the one of the oldest watch manufacturers. I think they claim to be the oldest watch manufacturer in Switzerland, even though they just sort of came back recently. I think it was five years ago, or maybe a little bit longer than that. I always feel the need to start a chronograph when I see it. It just sort of helps get things started. This watch is an interesting type of timepiece because it's difficult for me to identify exactly who the target demographic is. First of all, we know that this is a version, a modern version of sort of a retro design, and it's very Swiss in its approach. Even the brand is super Swiss. The brand is kind of cool because their website allows you to do a lot of things that you don't normally see on a watch brand website. For example, buy shares in the company. You can buy a, a set of shares in the company. I think it's not a hundred dollars, maybe it's 500 Swiss francs or something like that. Maybe it's a hundred Swiss francs. You can get a bunch of shares and they're not really clear what the shares allow you to do, but you do get some discounts on watches and things like that, which is nice, but it's cool that you can buy shares. Um, you can rent watches and you can look through their collection, which is actually quite prolific, impressively prolific of slight deviations uh, on, on similar themes, but very classic Swiss watches that I think would have been really sort of in vogue in the 60s, right? Like if you were buying Swiss watches in the 60s, this style and look would have probably be something that you saw an awful lot. So DFB 005 is one of a few sporty chronographs they make. What typifies this one is little things like the style of the hour markers, the big date, the hands, things of that nature. 42 and a half millimeters wide and intelligently Whereas very comfortably because of the stubby lugs. lugs. The lugs are not particularly long and very sharply curved, which means that you get as much space on your wrist for the dial, which I think is a really nice look, especially with this contrasting dial with the dark gray subdials and the sort of off-white dial with the applied hour markers and the reddish orange chronograph seconds hand. It's a good look. The movement is a base ETA, and on top of it is a module by Dupois de Pra, which adds the triple register chronograph as well as the big date indicator. I am a big fan of big dates, but a lot of times, especially these types of big dates, don't look very good because the windows that frame them, in my opinion, look a little bit awkward. I happen to think that Dubois Fields did a good job. I'm not really sure how it feels is. I just know it means and sun. So I'm just going to say Dubois and sun, if you don't mind. Very Speedmaster-ish in the look. I'll admit it. It's the bezel. It's not just the bezel. It's the way the case is constructed. If you look at the side of an Omega Speedmaster, you'll see the same, I'll call it a lip, that comes out that the bezel sits on. There's not a lot of watches that have that. It's mostly the Speedmaster and something like the DF, DFB005-002. I would really like it if watch brands stopped giving their watches mere reference numbers or numbers as their names. This watch has a personality. It, it says something to me. It says something to the people that see it on me. It needs to have a name other than a bunch of letters and numbers. I'm not sure why people do that and I've encouraged people to stop. Don't take a watch that's nice and has a lot of character and strip some of that character with a generic sounding name. That's fine as the reference number, but, but give it a little bit more than that. You want people to spend a fair amount of money on a luxury watch, go the extra step of giving it a personality through a name. Decently decorated movement. Custom rotor with a little tree logo there. I think it's interesting contrast actually because the rotor has one form of decoration, it's kind of skeletonized, and then there's these little perlage polishings on the, the top bridge of the movement there, which is Kind of actually a nice look. I've seen it before, but it's definitely more on the handsome side. Little detail there on the side of the case. That's cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the strap. It is a high quality strap. It's very thick though, and wearing it in is tough. It 
It also looks like the type of strap that after several months would start to wear. Also for me, because I have small wrists, found that if I, but if it was a supple strap, which it's not, and I wanted to wear it comfortably, there aren't enough holes. So I don't remember there being an option for a strap that's smaller. The brand might offer one, but um, I'm just not clear on that right now. But there is a nice buckle there. Sorry, went out of focus. That is actually a pretty nice buckle. Each of the watches that the brand produces are a limited edition and usually have a very small number. So like I said, this particular model is a limited edition of 33 pieces, which doesn't seem to be at all uncommon for the brand. They really focus a lot on the sense of exclusivity and rarity, which is fine, but frankly, they're not the only brand out there that has very limited productions. So I think that they should sort of focus a little bit more on their history, which I'd actually like to know more about as well as the design. The quality and the people producing the watch are also very important to me. I talk a lot about this because at 7,850 Swiss francs, this is an expensive timepiece. For this type of money, people are looking at Rolex, Omega, um, these days even higher than Tag Heuer, and a lot of brands that have more of a marketing presence and a well-known history. Unfortunately for brands like Dubois Fills or Sun. People are probably going to buy that Rolex and that Omega and a few other mainstream luxury watches and then come over to a timepiece like this, especially at these prices. If this watch was a few thousand dollars less, and I'm not saying they're able to be, but if they were, they'd be sort of entitled to get in front of a much larger audience that doesn't necessarily want to spend the money for a Rolex or Omega, but is also graduated above several hundred dollar or one to two thousand dollar watches. I just wanted to comment about that and see what you think. Overall, it's a nice watch. And if you don't like this particular dial, I recommend you go to the website and see all the different versions they have. If you like classic watches, especially classic Swiss design watches, I think that you're gonna find a lot to like with this brand. You can see the full review of the Dubois Fills DFB005-02 on a blog to watch. Thanks. <music>